Perched along the Atlantic Ocean, Fort Screven offers a beautiful view and a fascinating military history. For a half century, the concrete fort, batteries, and other buildings played a part in America's coastal defense system, until finally being decommissioned in 1947. It's unique because it's a great study in the evolution of American military technology. Uh, you know, you can look at Fort Pulaski and see where rifle cannon rendered that brick fort obsolete, and then come right down Highway 80 and look at Fort Screven and the six gun batteries built here and see the ne very next generation of our defense systems, our coast defense systems. The guns that once looked out over the entrance to the Savannah River are long gone now, dismantled after World War I for the most part. When aviation became a factor and you could no longer defend these batteries from the sea because you had air power that could bomb them from the air which made these pretty much obsolete. But Fort Screven continued to serve an important purpose as a training center in the years that would follow, especially toward the end of World War II when it became a deep sea diving school. It was a unique, uh, dedicated group of individuals. Many of them were actually very old for, for, for armed service. It was an extremely dangerous and often deadly job. Some of the history is chronicled here in the Fort's museum. Uh, I can't emphasize enough the danger that these uh, guys encountered. Uh, not only were they faced with booby traps, but the amount of damage and debris that they worked in, groping around in the dark in these kind of uh, uh, dive suits. After Fort Screven was declared surplus by the War Department, the fort was acquired by Tybee and parts of it were sold off to the public. Condos now stand on top of some of the old batteries. Others, like Battery Bacchus, have started to crumble and have an uncertain future. This is uh, one of the rapid fire gun uh, emplacements. Ed Colley has been fighting to keep Battery Bacchus from peril. He doesn't want to see this part of Tybee's history taken. What would you like to see happen with this? I mean, Well, this is a unique spot, so I think that it needs to be accessible to everybody. Uh, I think one of the things we need to do is to preserve it, clean it up, and maybe get some, bring it up to ADA standards so we can actually have uh, disabled people who can come and see and enjoy this magnificent view and also participate in, in understanding how our history works. And there's no denying that Fort Screven has played an important part, Tybee's rich history. On Tybee Island, Russ Reesinger, WSAV News 3.